so nil. Uh, massively disappointing result on the in the in the balance of play. First half, I think we were better side. Obviously, took the lead through a delicious uh, Charlie all over volley. Yeah. I thought we were outstanding. Tim fully deserved the the goal. I've got to be careful what I say. You fight and kick every ball. Your lads put an absolute shifting out there, and then you just win the some decision that's just happened tonight. And then nobody in the ground has fully understood it. And like I said, I'm begging and urging somebody to, to come and deal with this because it's not fair. So on 57 minutes, that was equalised with Warrington Islands uh, and obviously turned the tide for them. That's in a nutshell. The worst decision I think I've seen in football and how a referee can make that decision from the edge of the box and overrule his lines when he's level with play. Who then tried to correct himself to say that he thought he was half a yard behind play to change his decision. He's, he's the one of the most shocking decisions I've ever seen and shouldn't be allowed. Shouldn't be allowed. And he had a look at me now. Will he be in trouble? Will he not? I then asked the referee very, very, very politely. I didn't shout at him. And I said, how have you overruled the decision? He ran over and gave me a yellow card. Another yellow card. And that's the second time in the three I've been booked for asking a question. It, it feels like it's a power trip at times. And, and, it, and it's not fair. It's, it's literally not fair. It's not fair on them lads. It's not fair on the football club. And I'm urging people to, to watch this interview and, and do something about it because, listen, well done to Warrington Rylands. Let's not, they've won the game. You've got to say well done. But it could be us, it could be them, it could be Radcliffe, it could be Ash Allenton, it could be anybody. You're on the back of them decisions, Tim. It's not fair. You can't, as a manager, stand there and just accept that after our performance tonight. And, you know, I'm not going to come out. I'm not I falling out with the referee. I'm not, I don't dislike him as a person or the linesman or the officials. But you can't do that tonight. Team basically from front to back had a great, great game. Obviously, we had uh, you know, so Curtis back for the first game since Chris from Boxing Day. Um, I thought Aaron Bennett uh, carried the ball particularly well, carried real threat. Dante Gabadon again, sort of very dangerous, causing everything in the first half, basically, sort of coming going our way. Uh, you know, it was a good team performance against a team who were flying at the top of the league. Outstanding performance from start to finish, uh, and not just from the, the players, from the fans as well. Everybody knows in this stadium what's just happened tonight. And there is no way on this planet should we have lost that game of football. They'll say the same thing. They haven't, they haven't created, they haven't carved us open. We must have had how many chances? I don't know, 17 chances. And, and it wasn't to be tonight. But, you know, when we're, when we're up against it and you're fighting for it, you know, they say luck goes against you. Well, I, I don't know if that's luck or just shambolic decisions, you know, and yet we've got to call it the way it is, but I'll, I'll stick by this group, I'm su super proud of them, and yeah, we're riddled with injuries, great to have Curtis back tonight, another 65 for, uh, sorry, another 85 for Dante tonight, we've just got to keep going, we've got to keep going, and, and the time will turn, the luck will turn, and, and hopefully, you know, we get a decision, not a decision like that tonight, because I wouldn't want any other team to have that happen against them, because I know as a manager what we go through, but our, our luck will turn, you know, we've got, we've got a number of cup finals now to play and we know what we've got to do between now and the end of the season and we've just got to show that fighting spirit we've got to show that together that's what we've just shown out there and and you know it, it'll turn it'll turn and we won't need we won't need a helping hand from from any official we'll we'll create our own little bit of luck and you know as long as the fans stick together and, and the players stick together you know we'll keep going we'll keep going but uh but yeah like i said tim i'm 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 angry i'm hurting like i said well done to warrington Rylands. well done to to my group in there tonight. Great game of football. We've got no points again, but we've shown that fighting spirit and I'm sure that in a couple of weeks time, I know we've got Dragons on Sunday, but a couple of weeks time when we when we revisit the league, you know, hopefully we'll have Donald's back. Hopefully we'll have big Jordan Buckley back. Hopefully we'll have, you know, Charlie Munro back and so on. Uh, and then and then we'll tackle and we'll tackle the rest of the season as it comes. Uh, but yeah, just, just putting the interview to one side, putting the game to one side, I just want to say uh, a big well done to Luke Griffiths, you know, for getting his move to Curzon Ashton. Luke's been so warm man for four and a half years, he's been outstanding for me and uh, he fully deserves his opportunity to go and play higher and it was nice words what you said at half time today, but Griff goes with all our best which is he's been amazing, you know, and the one thing that he did say to me, he loves this football club, you know, I know he's the adopted scouser, but he loves the football club and was a real wrench for him to leave, so, you know, from... From me, the fans, from the players to, to Luke Griffiths, just want to wish him all the best in the future. And, you know, he knows where we are if, if it doesn't work out. But I'm sure a lad with that much quality, it'll go and work out. And, you know, this could be the start of a really exciting chapter for him. OK, thank you very much. Well, let's see you Sunday, Mother's Day, uh, Phoenix Trophy. Brilliant. Cheers, Tim. Right, cheers, see you then. Ta